Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yanka, your Christian fitness trainer and prayer warrior, and I am so glad that you're here. So um, I'm just gonna uh, offer encouragement, you know? That's one of the things that I do, I thank God for it. Um, and I'm gonna start out with, you know, in this season, God is just moving and he's doing things and he's just um, really seeking to bless his people. That's what he's seeking to do. Just the other day, um, I was reading. I I was reading this newsletter from this ministry that I um, give to, and in it, you know, it was the guy was talking about his daughter, and she was 12 years old at the time, and she um, wanted this puppy, and he was like, he was adamant, like, no, you know, I'm not getting any more dogs. They already had one, and um, you know, as I read that story, God me he said go go read that to the children so I went upstairs to read to my kids and so she was saying um, the little girl you know she wanted this puppy the father's like no and then she you know she, that didn't deter her she kept her faith about it and then she, you know she knew her mom told the scripture about you know the heart of the king is in God's hands he turns it which way he wills so you know the king of your home is your husband you know or the father so she, um, she's like, well, you know, Dad, I sowed my seed, I did this and that. And so he went to preach at some little church in this other um, state. And he said, the pastor there was like, you know, I have, um, he said, this might sound weird, but God is telling me to give you this puppy. <laughs> and so um, he gave him the puppy, you know, and then the little girl got, and it was the exact kind that she wanted, you know. So that's God, you know, just always working in the backgrounds and like that just really renewed my son's faith. They were like up that night to like 12, 1 o'clock, you know, writing down their, um, the things that they wanted to do and all of that stuff. And so here it is um, this morning, my husband wakes up and then he gets this, um, he, he's asking me about the uh, theme park. And so, you know, we, we skipped it last year. We did like passes every year. And so we skipped it last year because like the, pe the um, prices doubled and um, then you were getting, you know, offered less. And so like, <laughs> I just couldn't bite it today. He couldn't either. <laughs> but you know, the kids wanted to go. And you know, God honors them. These kids faithfully, you know, they give, they give their tithes, they give offerings, they give to the poor, they do all day, you know. And so, you know, they got the passes today and they're so excited. And I just see, you know, God's heart, even for the kids. And he just, he won't withhold any good thing from us. And just a couple of nights ago, I was um, up praying. Like, I don't know, I've been up that two to four, five o'clock in the morning time. And just, you know, praying because God is releasing a lot of instruction. He's giving guidance. He's showing things. And it's just a, a time to really just be quiet and just listen to God because he's given a lot of instruction and life transforming instruction. So anyway, I'm up, you know, at this night, night before last. And God just begins to speak almost like right off. And, you know, he's telling me, like, uh, oftentimes when I pray, you know, I'm praying, Father, what's on your heart. But then I also, I pray for you guys. Like, you do not go without prayer. I pray for you. I'm like, you know, Father, the people who follow you through my social media accounts, you know, just calling you, agreeing with whatever it is that comes from my spirit that you're praying to God for. And just standing in agreement with you and speaking his word out over you. So, you know, I often hear, I'm hearing things, you know, in, in the spirit. And so this particular night, God began to speak to me, you know, and about my life. And it was just so precious because he's like, you know, you're because of my faithfulness and, and because I look to him as my sole provider, he's going to do this and I'm going to do this. And I was hearing words I'd never even heard before. I was just like, ah, oh, Father, that is so precious, you know, and God has just been, you know, precious in all things. Just, you know, it's a time to walk in obedience you know because he's like I said he's given that instruction just a couple of weeks ago he um the grocery people Instacart brought the girl the lady delivered some grocery to my house and so um you know when we have a we get a lot of grocery people always think like you know is this what are you guys feeding feeding people or whatever yeah or they think we're a non-profit or something but I'm like we're a family of six but anyway she brings and you know all of the kids and all this stuff we help her bring all the stuff and so um, God says to me, he said, um, tip her. 
And so I go up and, you know, stairs only had like $3, $5, something in my purse. And so I just give it to her. And not even an hour later, that little $3 turned into $100. And then a little bit after that, someone gave me some more money. It's just, you know, you, just that obedience. And God, you never can lose in him. Especially now when God tells you to give something or to do something, do it. Because he's trying to get something to you even greater. So that's the encouragement. You know, listen to God. Obey everything he's saying at this time because he is restoring the years. He's restoring things back to us, things that we did not even know was, was lost. That's the season. He even said that to me the night. He said, you are in the Amos 9, 13 through 15 season. So, you know, he said that when God is speaking these things, sometimes your seed is just speaking what it is he says. So, you know, with my children, that became our declaration. So we're speaking this. My, you know, in this season, my head is going to, you know, it'll be blessings one on top of the other. And, you know, things will happen so fast, my head will swim. So just, you know, taking that word, personalizing and say what it is that the Spirit is saying. Because God's people, He's bringing us up. And it's time to, you know, go up to Him and not come down. We don't want to be thinking on the same level as the world. Because if you remember in the book of Daniel, it said Daniel was 10 times wiser than those other magicians and all those counterparts. And so as people got people, we shouldn't be operating on the same level as people without his wisdom. So ladies, that's all I have. God bless you. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye. <clears throat> One more thing, ladies. So what I forgot to tell you, so in that whole work, cause this is actually a pretty long one. And, you know, in that in wrapping the word, I, saw, I was in a vision and I was before the throne and what God did. This is so precious. Um, I was, you know, sitting there before the throne looking and God, I had given an offering um, like a few days before that. And what God did, he took that offering in his hands and he was holding it just like this and he blew on it. He said, Phew. and then what happened? He said, multiply. That's what he said. So that's, that was, he took that offering, he blew on it and multiplied. And that's when he told me the season that we were in. So, you know, like I said, be obedient, um, give, you know, scripture says, give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall be given to your bosom, you know, um, bring the tithes. And so you, we know all of these scriptures, we are in that season. So be obedient because God wants to bless you financially he wants to bless your health remember when the children of israel came out of captivity in egypt he um it said there was not a feeble one among them so he's restoring health he's doing all of that so just be obedient love you guys bye